Welcome back, guys. Uh, fi- episode 58 of the Brothers Geek Out podcast. I hope you guys have been well. Uh, we've got G-Man in Singapore. Who was in Hong Kong? Back, back in Singapore. Yeah. What's happening? Yeah, I was in Hong Kong for a week. A friend of mine got married. Uh, really beautiful wedding. Nice vibes and whatnot, man. It's good to be in Hong Kong again uh, as, as a tourist. It's yeah. nice to be a tourist that you, they can, that, that you know how to get around and whatnot. I really appreciate it more. Um, but yeah, got back yesterday to Singapore. I'm feeling it here better, man. Just so much more quiet. <laughs> yeah. Where I live, bro, you step out the house and like sometimes you don't even see another human being. You know what? After the madness of Hong Kong, it's a beautiful thing. It's awesome. <laughs> That's decent. That's yeah. decent. That's decent. How was baby, man? Yeah, Lara's good, bro. I'm I'm getting used to that father's duties and and uh, getting things done and. Yeah, it's all right. It's just trying to get into a routine of everything, basically, and I'm trying to catch up with a lot of things. Uh, I've got one more week off before I go back to work, so a bit basic, but it is what it is. I have to finance everything else now. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, no, she's good. She's good. She's good. She's good. She's a little cutie, man. Uh, it'd be nice when you see her, bro. One month. A month and a half. I'll be home. I'll be home. A month and a half. Uh, uh, looking forward to that. No, it'd be good, it'd be good, it'd be good. I mean, this week, nothing much geeky happened. I mean, uh, I went to the Toy Fair in London. Uh, so we were just going there as we speak geek, and we uh, just went there to introduce ourselves, meet up a couple of people, and uh, chill, really. Uh, it was our first team meeting together, uh, and it was just uh, it was good, man. We've got loads of things happening at the moment, so it's going to be a busy year, a lot happening. Then we're, we're still sorting out the house and stuff, so... Uh, the main thing was big shout outs to Shannon Lee for liking my Bruce Lee post. Thank you so much for that. He inspired us. That was awesome. I saw that. I saw that. That was sick. Yeah. So uh, big shout outs to that. But uh, let's see what else has been happening in the... To be honest, I've been actually working on an iPad sketch that I, I, I haven't been on art recently. But last night we were watching... Well, I was watching... The, the confession tapes, not confession tapes, the tapes of Ted Bundy. Now, this is a Netflix series documentary, and it's about uh, a journalist that went in and saw him in prison uh, before the, I think it was the last, I think it was the last couple of years before uh, he was given the electric chair. Now, this guy is pure evil, man. He looks like an everyday average Joe, and to, to think of the, the madness that this this piece of shit did, bro, like, one of the police officers, I remember, uh, sorry, one of the investigators, he was like, I've never cried at my job as a grown man, never, never. But when I saw one of them, I just wanted fucking pure revenge, bro. He was like, he wanted to kick the shit out of this guy, like, but he goes, I have to abide by the rules. Uh, I want to see this guy burn, but, you know, bro, really good documentary on Netflix, it's definitely one to check out. That's, but, where, that's where the punisher gets involved. Yeah, Batman, exactly. <laughs> No, nah, exactly. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised because they do interviews with the parents as well, man. And it's like, it's heartbreaking, man. It's heartbreaking because what, what law tells me that I, I, don't, I don't know, man. And it's very hard because of religion as well, like taking another life as well. So, yeah. you know, that's a big that's massive. I'm, I'm ready. Well, yeah, you'd have to be ready to I, take that conscience and say, you know what? I'll pay for it on the afterlife. This has to be done. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. There's different things, man. Like, that's probably the most common thing that people want. You know what I mean? Mm. Like revenge or whatnot. But I was listening to so Mike Tyson's got a new podcast. I don't think you've heard of it, but no, no. Boxing with Mike Tyson. Yeah, it's actually really awesome. One, it's awesome to hear Mike Tyson, uh, you know, talk and just be himself. Yeah. The, it, you know, the whole thing is they are fucking just smoking weed and thing. But they had an interest. They have interesting guests on whatnot, or whatnot. And one of them was talking about a movie that just came out on one of their favourite movies, I can't remember, and it was about something like this, where a guy's daughter was murdered, raped and murdered, and then the guy, the daughter's dad, he, while well, in revenge, he kind of forgave, he forgave the, 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 uh, the fucking criminal, Killer. whoever yeah. the fucker that did it, yeah, and I don't know, like, they were just talking about it briefly, and he was just talking about the, the, the forgiveness that he gave to, yeah. that, to the fucker, and um, he was able to forgive himself. Like, I don't know, it's just something true inside of himself. He was able to forgive himself for the revenge that he wanted, but he didn't. I don't know, it was a, it was a different approach 
of, of things that he took because he kind of knew the guy was mentally fucked, but he had to control himself because that was his daughter. It was, it was a, it was, I don't, I've got to find out the name of the movie again. Uh, yeah. But it was very interesting to hear that because that takes a very strong human being to do. No, of course very it does. Of strong course. strong human being because I reckon 99.9% of people are killing someone or yeah. want revenge or want badness. Uh, and it's probably very, very, very hard for you to find forgiveness for that person in your heart. Exactly. Like, uh, that's probably uh, the level that you know we want to get on, but that's something else. You know what I mean? That's superhuman uh, to be able to forgive someone for that. So it's interesting. No, definitely is, definitely is, man. That's uh, actually you need to find out the name of that movie, bro. Sounds interesting. Yeah, let me find out. I'll go back and listen to that podcast. But if you haven't heard. Tyson, man, he's such a legend and it's great to have him on. And he was even on Joe Rogan's podcast recently and whatnot. Uh, and it's interesting. It's interesting. I'll check it out. Check it out. I'll, find, I'll find the name of that movie. movie. No, definitely. So, uh, I don't know if you've seen Seth Rogan's uh, The Boys trailer. It's like a superhero uh, TV thing for Amazon. No. Check I've it out, bro. It looks, it looks all right. It looks good. Uh, it's on okay. Amazon Prime. Uh, it's called The Boys. The trailer came out last week, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've never heard of these characters before. I think it's characters that he's made up, uh, but it's quite. It looks quite funny, serious. It looks, you know, the the productions look good. The productions look good. That was one thing I saw. I'm a fan of Seth Rogen and their movies, man. Like Seth Rogen, Johnny Hill. Yeah. Freaking, uh, what's his name? Um, all of them guys. Man. Franco, James Franco. Uh, Franco, James yeah. Franco, all of them guys. Man. Yeah. I, I love their movies, man. So I'm a big fan. And, and Jonah Hill, like he. He is such a brilliant actor, man. Yeah. He's fucking brilliant. And I saw a picture recently. He started doing jujitsu. He's lost loads of weight. He looks good. Yeah. Like, he goes on and off on weight and getting bigger and But I think now he's really taking it serious and he's lost loads of weight. He's doing Brazilian jujitsu and whatnot. Uh, I'm a fan of them guys. Love them dudes. Yeah, I'll no, check it out. That's good. That one's good. Uh, and then Jeff Bridges, bro. He teases the return of the dude in a new video, which is The Big Labowski. That's one of mine and Habib's favorite movies. Uh, him and John Goodman, so it'd be interesting to see. I, I don't know, it's been a long time, because this, my problem is with movies like this is that they already hit a, a niche market, yeah? And with that one movie, yeah. it's become a cult classic. Do we really need another one? It does get me excited, but then it's like, do we need it? It's like, you know, like the Ghostbusters sh issue. Yeah, well, it depends, bro, it depends. All right, so this is the way I'm seeing it now. With Creed, when I saw Rocky, yeah. I got moist because it was still Rocky. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It was to the T. Now, I'm not saying Jeff Bridges can't bring his uh, the Doom back to, because he is the Doom. Yeah. Uh, so I reckon if you see the Doom and whatnot, and then John Goodman's character, and even uh, who was uh, the other guy? It was Jesus for his name. Uh, Jesus. Um, Jesus, yeah, it was Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fuck with the you Jesus. Know, it's not, it's, as long as they portray those characters, then maybe it should be good. But then on the flip side, I was I, like, I was thinking about this the other day because I got the Punisher, not the Punisher, sorry, the Predator figure. I'm yeah. Pull up. I'll, do, I'll do a Predator opening. Uh, yeah, I'll please, please. Player, video. Um, but I was thinking, why is the Predator so shit? Right? Because, and, and I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? The original Predator was an amazing movie. But this is my opinion. If you bought that movie out now, that's a shit movie. Right? So, yeah. but... Back in the 80s, that is a fucking amazing movie. So I'm just thinking, because of the times, yeah. it's a great movie. So with these Predator movies now, the way they bring them out, it's like, no, man. These would only be good if it was, shot, if it was done back in the 80s. No, no, you're They're right. They're not good. You're you know right. I mean? yeah. So, you know, anyway, like, just going back, if, 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 you know, if Jeff Bridges can pull off the character. Then why not? Uh, yeah. And then why not? Let's, let's see what they could do, man. The uh -huh. only thing that would be a complete flop build a whole new character, a whole new actor. Yeah, like, oh, that's right. That's, like, that's why things are hard, like, you know, solo and, yeah. you know, stuff like that, because it's not the character. Yo, G-Man.
Yo, G man. Yo, is it still recording or did that fuck everything up? No, 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 it's all good. It's still recording, bro. Oh, that's good. It's that's all good. Nice. I anyway, could cut. I could cut that bit out. But yeah, sorry. Continue. Uh, did you hear what I said about what was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying. So you were saying regarding about bringing back old characters. As long as it's the original characters, they're fine. But if you're going yeah, to introduce yeah. a new character, then you lose, like they did with Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah, new actors, new characters, then you lose, man, you know what I mean? So, yeah, hopefully, let's see, man, let's see what happens, man. No, uh, definitely, that's definitely. Fun. That might be fun. Uh, and then, hold up, let me see what else has been happening. God damn it. Uh, oh, yeah, shout-outs to Funko Pop. Funko Pop got some awesome little figures coming out. Uh, got to see the little John McClane and uh, the Twinkie guy, uh, which they're bringing out. John Wick, they're bringing out as well. Uh, pretty cool stuff they got going on there, man. It's it's funny. Have you seen the story about Funko, bro? Yeah, yeah. I saw the documentary they had. The thing they had on Netflix about yeah. toys. Yeah, that was that's crazy, man. How it just expanded like that. Definitely massive. Absolutely massive. And it was just taking the risk yeah. and going for it, isn't it? But uh, what do you call it? Like, it's almost like hot toys. Yeah. Because it's such a niche market. I was talking to someone the other day, and that person was telling me, why don't hot toys just do pre order? Pre order, how much money they will make? And I'm like, I'm sure they will make a lot more money, but they just decided not to take that route on how they sell things. Yeah. Um, but sorry, I'm just like, but what I'm saying is, like, hot toys has that um, exclusivity of uh, the Marvel DC video games, like the, the characters that, exactly. they, you know, that we see on the big screen and whatnot. Um, so it, it's almost like, there's no one else. No, you know what that's I mean? right. That's uh, right. And Funko Pop is like the only. They're the only ones. Like that's you know what right. I mean? Like there's no one else doing what they do. So it's pretty awesome. No, really good, really good, really good. So Kevin Smith, on other news, has uh, said he wants Michael Keaton to play Batman Beyond movie. So he wants him to play the old Bruce Wayne. And I think I love the idea of that. I think yeah, that'd be absolutely that sick. sick. Uh, Fucking awesome. There's there's nothing better. I think him and him and uh, um, Jay and Silent Bob, they're, gonna, they're making a remake. Well, was it a remake or part two? But they're making another one. Yeah, Come they're back. making another one, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm, that I'm, should be awesome. That's going to be funny. Uh, and then that politician, that American, not politician, that American Bruce that does the TV shows with politicians and stuff, had a, uh, had a blast at Kevin Smith. Saying what? I don't know, something. He said, must have called him an idiot or something, bro. Now Kevin Smith is, they're having beef at the moment. You know the guy who said comic books is for idiots and shit like that because of Stan Lee? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that guy. Man. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Guy. Yeah. He portrayed, he, he, so, yeah, he was saying something about it made people pussies or something. I don't know, whatever. What an idiot, man. That's yeah. so dumb, especially for someone in that sort of uh, position to say that sort of thing. Like, again, it's all negative shit. Like, yeah. yes, there could be that aspect of it if you want to see it that way, but why, why not see it in the aspect that it gives people hope? Yeah. Fucking idiot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a no, douche, no, bro. Man. He's a proper douche. Uh, uh, what was it? What was it? My interview for BBC Radio Leeds is up on the YouTube channel, guys. Make sure you check it out. It's on, on a couple of links behind. Uh, speaking to a, a presenter, Ahmed, on a program called Rated, and it was just regarding about our journey on uh, this geeky culture adventure, basically. Uh, it was just about my YouTube channel, my Instagram, uh, and what I do on a daily basis, basically. And how we fit everything in, we, we try and fit as much as we can in a daily basis as well. And it's uh, just the pe giving awareness to people, to letting them know that they're not... You don't have to do one thing and be mundane and normal. You can be extraordinary, but you just have to put the hours in, put the time in. Uh, so uh, that was it, really. That was uh, one good interview. Uh, but yeah, there's loads more going to be coming up this year. I mean, there's nothing else geeky that has happened this week. I mean... 
I bought a couple of comic books, so I'm reading Christ, uh, Crisis on Earth, which is, uh, not Crisis on Earth, uh, actually, let me show you. Let me bring it. Shit, I haven't read anything in ages, man. I think I need to go back to the DC shop, go and relax. Yeah, I think it's TM. Uh, here we go. I've got, I got a few the other day. Uh, Oh yeah, I've got some sketch covers, so I'm going to start doing some more drawings and stuff like that. But shout out to the Geek is Still for this little fantastic four book. Thank you very much for that, dude. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, I've got Shazam, Shazam issue one. That's coming out. That's going to be uh, the Dark Horse of uh, DCEU. Uh, Batman Who Last Laughs. I don't know if you've read this yet, but this is pretty good. Uh, I've got issue two. And then I've got this tribute Stan Lee comic book, which is... Uh, just after his birthday. Oh, wicked. Uh, what is that? I, I, you know what, bro? I'm not going to lie. I saw the cover. I got moist. But then I had... That's I saw, what I'm saying. I, I saw this. And I was like, oh, I need oh, I need it. That's awesome. I need that. Because it was so just after his that? birthday. What else is in there? Uh, it's actually a Thor comic book, bro. Oh, that's Thor. <laughs> So there's some intergalactic shit happening at the moment in the Marvel Universe. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, no, no, I, I, I just saw Punish on the front cover as well. That's the thing that, that caught my attention. you got Venom, Spider-Man. you got it's old, old school X-Men, Phoenix, yep. or Punisher. What is this, man? I'm going to read it and I'll let you know. Marvel's God, okay. 80th anniversary okay. variant cover, the 1980s. This is a Thor comic book. Eight, you know what? Oh, shit. Six out of nine. All right, I need to get them all now. Uh, 80 years of Marvel, bro. Can you believe that? Wow, 80 years. Wow. Well, it's crazy how after 80 years, it's expanding into this Marvel movie universe and business is just growing faster than it ever has, I guess, profit-wise. That's right, that's right. So, yeah, it's absolutely mad, man. I'm looking forward to it. I, I got to watch a... Yesterday morning was the first Saturday morning I got to sit down and chill with Lara and... Uh, we watched our first cartoon together. <laughs> well, actually, I, 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 we watched uh, Teen Titans. Oh, wicked. Uh, which is, bro, you need to catch it, bro. It's absolutely hilarious because the amount of times they, uh, because Stan Lee's in it as well, so they, they talk about Marvel movies and they talk about the, even their own DCEU movies where they messed up and stuff. And it, it, it was a good, fun cartoon to watch. I mean, they reference so much stuff that we would love. You know? where, where did they show this? Uh, I got it on DVD. Okay. It looks so cute, but I think it's quite interesting. It looks quite interesting. Yeah, no, bro. Uh, I, if you, I'm not sure if you've been watching my uh, my Instagram stories. I've got some of the clips on there. They've got Back to the Future uh, tribute in there, which is pretty cool. I like that, which is really good. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so if you get the chance, check it out, bro. Uh, but that's it, my brother. I mean, at the moment now, we're just uh, setting up uh, for the the house and just looking after baby, man. I'm, I'm trying to do some artwork and trying to get my stuff back out there. i got my first Comic-Con coming up in, shit, less than a month. So I need to get some artwork ready and printed for the Anime Con. Uh, yeah, yeah, the London Anime Con, which is in Holloway. So uh, it should be interesting, man. That's my first ever Comic Con as an artist. I'll have my work out there. Let's see what people say, man. Hopefully, uh, it goes well. You okay? Cool. Sounds good, bro. Good. Yeah, no, no. The connection's kind of poor. It kind of jumped in and out, but I, I, I heard you. I got you, man. But yeah. Sounds good, man. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah. Same. Well, with me, same shit, man. Just get back into work and training, really. Yeah. I know what's going on. Um, gotta fix up my diet because I ate shit the last couple of days. Hong Kong, uh, yeah. Yeah, just didn't maintain any good diet. Done a little bit of training. Ran up to the peak the other day for the sun, for the sunrise. But usual Hong Kong fashion. Yeah. Where did you stay while you were See, out there, bro? Was that? Where did you stay while you were out there? I just stayed in a hotel in mid levels, man. So it was actually quite nice. It's on the island. Oh, nice. Um, so it wasn't too bad. And then uh, I went to see Bruce, but they moved him back to the Avenues of the Stars, but they haven't finished making the Avenues of the Stars. So it's a bit oh. hard to, to catch him. Interesting. But from the bridge that 
from the bridge that linked to the avenue of the garden, starts with the garden, as you can see him. And it's going to be quite nice where they put him. Um, they're going to have, like, it looks like he's going to be standing on top of some water, like a little pond, which is great because people used to, I used to hate it when I used to go there. People used to just be all over him. They used to go over the barriers and just kind of jump on him and stuff. I used to hate that. Yeah. Um, so this will be nice. Will, nobody's going to get into the water to get to, see, to be, like, all over him. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and, but the only issue is, the only issue is where they put him, it doesn't, his front is not, so when you're looking at, looking at him from the front, it's not facing the, the skyline of Hong Kong anymore. Ah, oh, okay. With the skyline of Hong Kong, it's his back. Now, even though that's a great shot, however, if you wanted it from the front, him from the front and the skyline in the back, you won't get that anymore. So oh, okay. anyway, glad we saw that and experienced that. But, um, you know, this it's the new age, I guess, the new, new, it's going to be a new display. Yeah, um, no, that's forward, true, but that's true. Yeah, legend, man, legend. It was good to be there, man. Um, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, so tomorrow, training, diet, to get back on track. Next week, I can start exploring Singapore a little bit more because I finally settled down here, I think. Um, no, that's so good, that's good. get out there a bit. Yeah, no, I'm going to... <laughs> I'm, I have to get back into training myself. I've become a little fat ever since uh, Lara got born. I've been eating all sorts of madness. I, I'm actually starting to run today, so I'm going to go for a run in a bit. I'm going to go feed her some breakfast. Well, not breakfast, but make sure she eats, chill with her for a bit, and then uh, I'm going to go for a run for about 30 minutes, man. And then uh, definitely same thing. I need to do the same thing, man. I've been just snacking like crazy, man. So. Mm, you, take dad, you, you take dad gym today? We're going to go later on. That's where I'm going to run. Alright, make sure you take him, man. Yeah. How is he? he t I spoke to him the other day and he's saying the exercise has been helping him, back. So you've got to maintain it. You've yeah, no, definitely, it, definitely. So 100%. That, we're going to do that. 100% and then... have to maintain that. <coughs> so we're going to go later on and that's about it, really, man. Other than that, nice chill Sunday. Hopefully, I catch an episode of Panning Show, man. That's all I want to catch up on. So you haven't seen a single episode? No, bro. Alright. Well, it's getting. It, it, I want non spoiler, like I said last week. The only thing I'm disappointed with so far is Jigsaw. Um, I don't think um, visually he looks great, but I get what they're trying to do. The Jigsaw is in his fucking head, so I, I get that. But he's supposed to look fucking gruesome. He don't look gruesome. Okay. Still pretty boy. Uh, <laughs> Punisher's great. Um, I, I do think, like I said, it's character building of Punisher rather than just the, the killer. However, yeah, the episodes I'm getting now is just yeah, it, you know, Punisher. It's uh, he's accepted himself a bit more. So, yeah. I think, I think, whereas the comics, he was just punished from day one, whereas in this, he's like, he, he's always had the punisher in him, but I think the rawness gets to him more yeah. as he evolves as a character, rather than he's completely raw from the beginning. Okay. Uh, I, you know, Daredevil season two, not many people like that, but the way he entered Daredevil season two was, for me, the punisher that I know, and that's just... Stone Cold Killer. Same, uh, but same. This is, a lot more this is a lot more character building, which I, I get what they're trying to do. Because it's my favourite character, I'm just going to be naturally biased towards it and also understand what they're trying to do rather mm. than just be like, no, man, that's not the Punisher. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still moist. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. Check it out. I'm gonna trying to finish up Teen Titans as well. <clears throat> um, I'm on episode eight. Um, you know, let me ask you a question, man. Donna Troy... Is that that's one that's one girl one one from the Wonder Woman tribe or whatever right the yeah. Amazonian she's an yeah. Amazonian yeah I didn't know there was a Wonder Girl but it makes sense if it's a Wonder bloody girl uh, yeah I, I like the show man I'm loving it's the good show. isn't it yeah good show good show so good you Finally, see that scene yeah. in the prison yeah the prison scene yeah you, yeah, yeah you know yeah, in the hallway and he just everything. fucks everybody up when he goes mad yeah well listen man I mean like that. It's a different portrayal of Robin and whatnot. I think it's so freaking awesome. Yeah, definitely. Um, so definitely. I'm looking forward to finishing this up. So I'm trying to juggle between this and Punisher. Uh, and then later on, I'll do some videos of the unboxing of uh, the Predator nice. uh, Hot Toys and the Iron Man Mark III Hot Toys with um, the robots that help him put his shit on. Remember in the first Iron Man 2 and Iron Man 1? Yeah, those shit. Yes. So I've got that part of my collection, man. So I'll do nice. the unboxing of those later on. Cool, cool. Definitely. Uh, so, so keep an eye out for those videos, man. Yes, please do, man. That'd be awesome. Uh, yeah, that'd be good, man. That'd be good. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Geek Week. Uh, nothing geeky has happened this week. Most of it all happened the week before with all the trailers that came out. Uh, but yeah, we head on to next week. Let's see what's coming out. We'll keep you posted. Cool. 
All right, bro. Actually, let me. We will catch you on the other side, peeps. Thanks again, you guys. You subscribers are absolutely amazing. You guys are continuing to watch. Uh, we will have more content, more videos to come out soon, guys. We're slowly settling down, and life is trying to make its own path. So, let's uh, once it's there, we'll have more stuff out to you guys. Sounds fucking awesome. Yes. All right, bro. Catch you up too, man. One love. Peace. Peace.